I don't normally do what I think what they call a flat lay, but this is most of the gear I'll be taking. So obviously shorts, pants, socks, extra pair of socks to change about halfway, my little gaiters and trainers, my poles. Uh, probably won't need that, but over trousers and what proof top you've got to take. Uh, I won't be taking that. First aid kit, blanket, whistles attached to the vest, uh, long sleeve top, gloves just in case cap got my neck cover as well in case it's hot i've got um sun lotion uh my f the first outing for my green runners little sew on badge there so i've got some old gels which i will be carrying with me but instead of those i'm taking trail mix so i'm going to be putting that in a old waterproof which isn't quite waterproof anymore but a little uh, dry bag um, so that is my energy. I've got some cliff bars to go in. Um, and, and that's pretty much it, I think. So registration opens at six. Um, so I can go up, get the mandatory kit checked. Uh, they'll put the GPS tracker on the um, bag. Um, I'll, at that point, I'll fill up the water. Um, actually do a pack, so I'm going to pack everything and make sure it all fits. Uh, including the the um, cliff bars, the food, etc., etc. Make sure I can get to the stuff that I need to get to at the front, the stuff that I don't need to get to in the back. Um, and I think that will probably be about it. Um, apparently, we can get food after that as well, so it'll be food, a shower. Um, I'm thinking about putting the tape on my feet tonight, so I don't have to do it when I'm half half asleep early in the morning, because um, it's a six o'clock start off. Um, breakfast you can start getting from four o'clock in the morning so my plan is generally I mean literally I'm guessing that breakfast is going to be done out here somewhere um, so it's not exactly far so I can get up I'll put the alarm get up double check my feet get the socks on get dressed make sure I've got, I've, I'm warm um, it's supposed to be a bit nicer tomorrow it's actually quite windy out there at the moment so it's not not warm warm um, but I've got, got my dry robe in the car so I can go and get that if I need it in the morning just for kind of being out there and eating breakfast and then it will be um, getting to the start which is there I'm guessing so that's the plan YMCA they're not exactly going to have tea and coffee facilities in the room so the builder's tea box has come out to play so I've got mugs Two mugs, little teaspoon, little kettle, and I've got hot chocolate, of course, and um, I'm going to try them coffee bags. So there you go. So I can have a drink whenever I like. Good stuff. So I'm going to go out and have a just a little explore by the bank while it's still a little bit light before it gets busy. So I'll show you around a bit. So I'm guessing that's probably the start and finish. I'll be very glad to see that on the Sunday morning. So this is the building. That's really nice. I definitely recommend staying there. Obviously it would be cheaper camping. I was going to camp but after doing the run I didn't fancy having to take the uh, tent down on my own because it is uh, quite a large tent. In fact it's like those bell tents over there. Let's go have a look at the uh, lake shall we? So if you're doing the lap and you're camping, I'm guessing that's where you camp. There's some yurts there as well. So here we go. There's the start. We're going all the way up there. And then all the way around. That's halfway. And back down the other side, all the way down through <coughs> Windermere, Bowness, around the bottom, Newby Bridge, on the home straight, and then back. And that'll be it. It's time to sort the uh, tape, take the toes. That's the strapping done. So all the all my usual blister spots covered. Breakfast of champions. Look at that. Awesome.
So here we are. Already seemed like a good idea at the time. So it's now 20 to 6, so I'm going to go out and kind of join the crowd. We've got to be out there for 10 to anyway for the briefing, so it's not the people are gathering. Ambulance is ready for when I fall as across the start line. <laughs> so let's see how we get on. It's a chilly start, so I'm very glad I didn't camp, to be honest. At least I'll be able to kind of get, you know, get, get ready in the warm. Um, yeah, it's a bit misty, but it's supposed to be a pretty good day, weather-wise. Uh, no strong winds, certainly the wind that we had yesterday, so, yeah. <sighs> I've already had my seventh nervous poo. <laughs> Hopefully that's it now, I don't think there's anything left. Yes, I did, I did go there, because it's a reality of the racing, so. I shall uh, see you at the start. Okay, here we are at the start. About to have the briefing. <laughs> Mists on the lake. So we're going to have the safety briefing and then we'll be off. <laughs> So to that little island there, and then up there, it was towards the end of the uh, Man vs Lakes race with Rat Race. So at this point I was going the other direction, it was pretty much the end of the race. This is that beginning. Quite a misty start, but the uh, race lead at the beginning with his loud hail was saying it's actually a cloud inversion, so if it's still there when we get up onto Latterborough, It'll be uh, up into the blue sky and be on top of the cloud, which will be lovely. But it was a funny start, there's everybody's kind of crowded around the start, you know, to hear the briefing. And this is right, let's get sorted. So the people who are planning to do it in kind of seven to eight hours <laughs> stay at the front and other people move back to kind of 10 hours, 12 hours plus. It like nearly everybody started moving back. <laughs> oh, it was funny. The select group at the front going for seven or eight hours in seven and eight hours 49 miles around the lakes wow it's another level but this is beautiful i'm a little bit of like at the minute but just been on the lovely little path through the bluebells some really nice wild garlic you can really smell it and little white really delicate white flowers absolutely beautiful so i think we're heading back down towards the lake again so we just headed away from it for a little while but really nice. Wow. So we're at three and a half miles. Look at that. some water, a couple of chucky bars and two bits of baguette with cheese. You can't stay gluten free on this. Got to get the carbs in. What a beautiful day. The sun's trying to get through, I think it's going to get a bit toasty if that the sun gets through, but look cuckoo brow in. Very nice too. It's been a stunning run so far, so uh, just about seven miles. Seven miles in. Only 40 to go. <laughs> Onwards. 
Look at that. Stunning. I have a house here. Have your coffee in the morning looking over that. And we're going up there. There is treege here. It smells fantastic. Such a strong pine, look at this. But these smell fantastic. So we're nearly 10 miles in. And that sun is warming up. Amazing. So my watch has just gone still be 12 miles, so in theory that's a quarter of the way. <laughs> That's an amazing run so far. Um, my uh, ME pain has skyrocketed, I have to say. So my hips and my spine are on absolute fire. They are agony. Uh, but unfortunately, the uh, antidepressants I'm on can't go with ibuprofen, which is what I would normally take. So. Oh. The plan is just to fight on with the pain until halfway. <laughs> so another 12 miles. Um, and then take some paracetamol. That's the plan anyway. Oh. Some amazing woods though. It's a lovely birch wood. Been through some gorgeous pine. Just phenomenal. A beautiful little town there. You know, with the Langdale Pikes up in the distance. And I think we're going up there around the back of that. I think it's Loft Rim. I think it is. Whew. So it's nearly 16 miles. Only 31 to go. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. That way. Got a proper bit of uphill now. <laughs> I just went wrong a little bit. I was in the zone, stomping away with the sticks, head down, concentrating on managing the pain, and suddenly had a horrible feeling I'd missed a turn. And luckily, I checked in the hat. So. <sighs> Back on it. Oh, amazing. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera away and gasp all the way to the top of this. Are you ringing? Uh, this is why you ring. Oh, that was a climb. Now for a quick descent by the looks of it. At least we can see the lake for a minute. That was a tough climb. Feed station and bag drop. You gotta listen right there. It's hot, hot, hot. So I've managed to get a bit of food in, a bit more liquids. A uh, new battery in the camera, that was very important. So onwards. Feeling hot, hot, hot. We've got another nasty climb coming. We're going up there, I think. Eek! Look at that view though. But that's the uh, halfway point over there. That's where I've just come from. It's 
So yes, the very fetching neck cover is on. Covers the tops of the ears as well. Because it is roasting. Roasting hot sunshine in the Lake District, who would have thought it? Absolutely amazing though. That's what we're on. 23 and a half miles. Feet are very sore. Legs are tired. Hips and spine, lots of pain. And my neck's hurting a bit as well, because when I'm leaning into the hill, the leaning too far forward, I need to make, keep my shoulders back, etc. Other than that, it's all hunky dory. Hot. Yeah, I'm not just talking about me. This view, amazing, isn't it? It's uh, just gone 25 miles, so over halfway now, probably another mile, and I'll maybe go for a sprint finish. So I'm uh, clocking off a few of these next miles, doing a bit of scout space, so I'm doing 100 paces shuffle, 100 paces walk. And actually it's, uh, it's just amazing how, how much progress you can make, particularly when the feet are tired. And it is just so warm. It is a beautiful run. It will be very different in the howling storms, which I have seen a few other people's videos doing it in. So I'm not going to complain. I was just thinking it's uh, so unusual to be this far into a run. For me anyway and not have wet feet it's quite a novelty and i think that's why i've definitely got a blister on one of my kind of middle toes on my right foot but so far touch wood i'm not doing too bad and that's because i think i'm not running in soaking wet socks so i haven't got a trench foot <laughs> anyway teeny-weeny bit downhill so i'm gonna make the most of it see you in a bit I'll lose some height down to Windermere now. Wow. Well, it's uh, 30 miles. So we're into the teens of miles left rather than the twenties of miles left. That's good. So I just eating some crisps at the uh, feed station. Had some uh, Coke. Which was very nice. Little top up and uh, onwards. Oh. Onwards, onwards. We're going that away. Some beautiful views, there really is. I can highly recommend this as a run. Although, I'm definitely counting the miles till we finish. I can get back into my room and have a shower. Oh, that's going to be a good moment. I won't be videoing that bit though. Nobody want to see that. Oh. Right, I'll pop you away for a little bit. Get you out again a bit later on. About level with Boatness. A lovely bit of shade here, that's very welcome. Oh. Just about see a bit of Windermere. I have to say though, uh, the lap goes round Windermere, you don't actually see that much of it. <laughs> so it's very nice to keep spotting it every now and again through the tree. This is a beautiful, very welcome bit of shade. Oh. What a view. They do keep uh, Putting us up these little lumps. We're going to get that way. Follow the arrows. These roots really just take you through some gorgeous old woodlands. Look at this.
<laughs> oh, it's a bit boggy. <laughs> Looking out for the blue arrows. But we're still going. 36 miles. So, 10 miles to go roughly. Oh, and I am dreaming of not only stopping, but getting in that shower. been a hot and sweaty run but a very very good one it's funny how the uh, with these ultras how the mood can change how your mood goes you know up and down it's about 16 miles in I could have quite easily stopped and about 20 miles I was at me one of my tearful stages having a little drizzle to myself and then got to halfway and it's like yeah you got to halfway and then this latter bit has actually been uh, not too bad you can see the same done the ultra shuffle but still moving forwards so I think there's one more feed station I think that's in about well, it must have been about six miles, I think. And then they said after that, it's four miles to go. We've done it. Well, hey. What an adventure. It's Very good point. Newby Bridge. Although I've got to go up that next. But this means if their measurements are right, it's two park runs to go. Not a good thing of being at Newbury Bridge. I've not only got a really nasty climb to do, that amount of water. And it's another two miles at least till the next feed station. So this is going to be tough. It's a bit of a long gap between since the last one, yeah, particularly in this heat. But uh, best foot forward. It's funny that certainly this last half, I've actually been okay on the uphills, kind of get the sticks going and getting a rhythm. And actually, I don't find them too bad, but the downhills are now just horrific, they're agony. Um, and I'm really struggling on the flats, funnily enough. So I'm not going to complain about the uphills, although again I could do with the water, but oh, I think at the moment I'm built to go uphill. Last feed station, that was a long couple of miles. So I've uh, filled the bladder up again, so I'll be fine for the rest now. And uh, had a banana and three little cups of goat, so that should get me around. So in theory, it should be about four miles for me. It's going to be a long four miles. Hi Dan. Very nice. So in theory, it's three and a half miles to go. Fingers crossed it is. Oh, I don't need any extra ones. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. To be honest, it's very tempting just to jump in. <laughs> Nearly there. Come on, keep going. Beautiful, beautiful woodland, look. And we are back to the lake. Yay! That's where we ran off this morning. So close. Can't believe I've done that in daylight. 
so convinced I was going to be finishing in the dark. But I do just want to stop now. I don't want to be going forwards anymore. Don't want to be using my poles anymore. Although without them I definitely wouldn't have finished. I just want to sit down and have something proper to eat hopefully and have a shower and then I am straight to bed. I think this is it. Thank you. All. Yeah I'm just I'm gonna do a victory lap. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spin finish, not. Now why wasn't there a round of applause all the way around? What a cool medal on a bit of silver birch, I think. Absolutely amazing. Very pleased. I'm now going to take the trainers off, put my sandals on, and then food is upstairs apparently, so I'm going to go and do that. Whoa, what a race! <laughs>